good neighbors. <laughs> Welcome back to a bonus episode of Sister Friends. It's been a minute. Bang, 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 Thanks bang, again for tuning bang, in to all of our content, sharing, following on social media. I'm so glad to see my sisters. It's hey. been a while. The last what? time we was here, we was chow down. Well, guys, we wanted to come and do a little recap review. Is this spoiler alert? Yeah, spoiler alert. I'm yeah, not holding back. Spoiler alert. Okay, I'm not holding if back. you ain't alert. seen it at this time, I you don't really want to see it. Yeah, yeah, I don't got time to be like. They've done so much of promotion, so much of yeah. uh, press. So we are, I, yeah. we are really excited about this movie. We we went to go see it last Friday, us and so a few good. other cousins. So it was a good vibe. Yeah. Um, we are reviewing and speaking on the movie, baby. Baby. That was a good baby, movie. Baby, baby, baby. Creed 3. This was uh, Michael B. Jordan's director. Uh, debut. Directorial debut. Thank yes. you for that terminology. <laughs> and I that. thoroughly mm, Sir, you have a bright future. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, baby, he's bright everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lisa was fast that whole movie. Lisa, <laughs> if I would have caught the first few minutes, I'd have been fast the whole movie too, but I was late. <laughs> Lisa, baby. <laughs> Listen, I have to I'm, go to I'm work. I'm going to see it again. Okay. I, I'm going to go see it again. Tonight. I'm going probably I Sunday. I thought you do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. She goes for the wrong uh, way. <laughs> right. No, for real. Because uh, I had went to Mama's the other day to do some laundry. And she's like, oh, so how was the movie? I was like... You know, besides them being fine, it was a really good movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, so they did a sure. really good so job. If you can get past the fine part and pay attention, it's really good. It's, he did a great job. Yeah, he did. For his uh, debut. I enjoyed it. I'm trying to... What about y'all? Right. I loved it. <laughs> and I ain't even being bad. <laughs> you know what I think? It was weird to me. Like I actually watched a lot of the interviews. Mm -hmm. I ain't never just sat and watched interviews. I for love their interview. Yeah, and I, that's I think when I fell in love with Tessa Thompson and like, mm -hmm. the way she thinks and I she love moves, she Tessa decisions. Thompson. Mm -hmm. But even um, what's his name? What name? What's that? Jonathan, Jonathan Major. Sergeant Major. <laughs> Put some respect. Listen, it's Jonathan, you gotta say Jonathan now, because now you're a friend. Listening to him talk like a preacher. I said, <laughs> he talked just yes, like he a Wow. Uh -huh. You wouldn't have thought that looking said, at him. Wow. He's a chameleon. He can be anybody. Michael B. Jordan kind of faded to the background for Ooh. me, as far as like like intellect and like mm -hmm. those, those two. They just really carried so much for me. But I mean, I believe Michael B. Jordan has a great heart, you know. But <laughs> but then I was just like, that's amazing. But I had never sat and watched interviews. The way I did for any movie ever. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Same. I don't think I've ever watched this many interviews for a movie. Nah. I, 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 I love like watching that interviews because they just seem like they really like are supported each other yeah. like through the whole. They bounce off each other real well. And um, even with the young girl. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I that aspect. I don't know, and I feel like they did uh, their best to make it uh, a good environment for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I really respect that. They had great chemistry, and yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the ASL aspect. Mm -hmm. yeah, I nice. thought that was really dope, too. I'm not fluent in it at all, but it was just so nice to see them that. normalize it. Yeah, they weren't like, oh, so this is so huge. They, but, like, it's, a, it it's a, a big, important thing, but, like, to see yeah. them just, like... They made it normal. Yeah, like, they like, didn't, there's they didn't, families out here that have kids that are hearing impaired, deaf, whatever, and it's just like, this is how people communicate, and it's not off-putting, it's not, like, ooh, uncomfortable. It's just like, yeah. this is how she talks. This is how we talk to her. And then yeah. he was, like, teaching her, like, hey, she's, and then this is how you say this. I'm like, oh, that's so clean. Yeah, it, yeah, I, I, yeah, I like that. I, I like enjoyed that. that. I thought that was real sweet. The and parental respect. Michael B., I see you, and Dad looks very good on you. Yes, he would be a great dad. <laughs> I don't know him personally as a man, but like he yeah, looked natural I as a dad. You're ready. <laughs> she said, "I know you." Right. <laughs> I um, okay. I be trying, to, I be trying to hook him up with people in my head, you know, like who I can. Really, so I him really and, think that y'all would be a vibe. I think him and Tessa would be a great. Vibe. I, bro, I, I swear be loving to you, they look so Tessa. natural as a couple. Yeah, like, and, they, she, um, and even when she be doing her interviews, in one of her interviews, she was like, you know, since she had been with him for like eight years, doing this whole mm -hmm. thing. So when she was like, you know, that, you know, she be supporting her man like on camera, and then when <laughs> he's like doing direct, she's like, and I'm just, I'm just supporting my man like. And then, like, I'm like <laughs> but she a Libra, so she kind of flirting. Uh -huh. you know? I thought she was LGBT. She know. I oh, that's she what was. I thought. Cause her and Janelle Monae. I know her and Janelle Monae, and then she was just photographed with um 
doing Rita Ora and somebody else uh, too. Oh, like, ti- yeah. uh, not Tiger Waititi. What is that man? I don't know. It's a, he's a director, actor, something. I know who I'm talking about. But <laughs> she just seemed like she loved anybody, really. I think. I think. Um, I think that they would like each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I get more like a uh, family vibe with them though. So listen. Mm-hmm. No, she just shot Michael B. Oh, listen, <laughs> Michael, listen, dog. Um, but let's talk about the plot. Let's talk about the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, how did we feel? How do we feel about the direction of the story? The whole like friends, enemies, you know, flip yeah. flop like. We knew each other from way back, ran some secrets. What I really want to say is I appreciate the whole, like, showing them just, like, not, like, the cute, like, surface parts of a marriage being, like, yeah, yeah. if we finna be doing this, I don't need this whole ice and, ice and out and, oh, nothing's wrong. You need to open your mouth and speak because mm-hmm. this whole arguing in front of our kid and just having this weird, like, you're not telling me nothing and I'm finding out stuff through other people. Mm-hmm. We yeah, can't have that. I, yeah. I need to know why we still in the home before we go out into the world and then this all hit me in the face. I mm-hmm. I really appreciated them showing them that. And he was yeah. just like, him working through not knowing how to process his emotions and also how is it affecting his daughter. Just yeah. being, you know, fight first and then talk about it later. I'm like, yeah. no, let's, let's get into it. I really appreciated that. Yeah, I agree with that. Mark. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like the subtlety of uh, Mike, not Mike, uh, Jonathan. You know, the way they portrayed him, you know, with him coming out of prison, mm-hmm. you know, he could have very easily been over there. Yeah, he could have very easily been very grisly. Too much. But he came in subtle to where you, you kind of would, you really didn't expect for him to do what he did. Right. As far as slide mm-hmm. him. Yeah. So he was crazy as hell. He Boy, played that he, crazy. He did so good. He did so good. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 because he was because he was cool and mm-hmm. chill at the beginning. He like, man, I don't need your money, you know, stuff like that. Right. And then he started like when he was in the ring, he just started like yes. getting like real like animal eyes. Yeah, yes. mm-hmm. that shit was acting for real. You know, did did you have a favorite uh, portion of the movie? A favorite part? No. No, not that I know of, but this is what messed me up, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was I was really mad because I really had thought I had figured it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about Leon. Mm-hmm. Girl, oh. she whispered this to me I, in the movie. In the movie, I was yeah. I was mad because I thought we was gonna go there. Now, as mm-hmm. a person who has worked with people from group homes, mm-hmm. who has you know fostered children, right? I felt like I knew where the story was going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought it was going molestation. Uh-huh. And that's why he fought. And I have seen that in so many kids. And I was like, oh, this this is going to be real, real. I thought they were going to bring it. Mm-hmm. I was mad. Because yeah. I, I, mean, I, I, I thought that was, I was like, oh my God. You, like so many people, mm-hmm. especially young boys. And I, I, I remember listening to a, a young man who had been molested at church. Mm-hmm. At church. And like with girls... You know, oftentimes, you know, you can listen at some, sometimes they listen, but most cases, boys don't speak up mm-hmm. to anybody yeah, about that. Yeah, there's a lot of shame, And they man. harbor that yeah. in so much until it explodes out into something like fighting, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I thought that's where it was going, and I was mad when it didn't go yeah. that way. Do you feel like they, they do it more so with the men than as if, if they with the woman, that they kind of be quiet a little bit? Because I think it's more shameful for them for a man. Yeah, but they, feel like but they, they will brag about it from a woman. Yeah, they'll yeah. be like, oh, yeah, yeah. that yeah. older lady when I was like 16, that's... Anyway, she was 32, that, that's but I was not alive. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. But it's just like, I, I feel like when they're gone. younger and they don't say anything, especially if it's like a man if that did a man, it too. There's a lot of shame They feel there. ashamed. They feel embarrassment. I they, thought it was going to do molestation too, though. They might yeah. question their sexuality because they're just like, I just don't know what to do with that because yeah. it's something that should have never been put on you in the first place. Mm-hmm. But what I will say, that would have been something to put in there, especially with him going to prison. You know, prison yeah. culture, people be bringing up, you know, the sexual oh, assault yeah, in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it could, it, but I feel like they might have strayed away from it because it would have opened too much. Yeah, it, that it, it would have taken animals. away from like the what they were the trying story. to like. I'm like show okay, us. we a little bit too far off Rocky right now. We need to get back because we would have had to dive into something else. Yeah, I think. that would have been a whole nother avenue to go down. But but, uh, but I think that's also often like swept under the rug in our community oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. and so that's why i think there's I, so I much it's so much like you know keep been. it in the house what happens in this house stay in this house no if not if it's hurting you yeah. they don't need to 
And I feel like that was a, I mean, the conversation that they had about, you know, the um, abuse in a group home and stuff, that's definitely a question, uh, something that needs to be pushed to the front because there's so many black kids that are in foster care in group homes that are are neglected and abused every single day just so that people can collect a check. And that's probably what that man was doing. And then he was beating them every time he got upset. And I was just like, I'm I'm glad I don't know what that feels like because I know a couple kids that were adopted and lived in group homes for a while. And it was like, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy because it was just not it. It was just not it. I'm really happy that like, back to like them not showing like uh, Bianca and Adonis like in this perfect light yeah. and allowing them to see them like fight. I'm just grateful that it wasn't cheating. Like, yes. I'm glad. <sighs> but I just feel like so many times in, like, our culture, whatever, like, that always has to be yes, the reason. Yeah. And yeah. and for, he, for you to actually be diving into his childhood trauma right now, mm -hmm. like, that's what I want to talk about. Right. right. Yeah. There's Let's other, fight about There's that. other marital <laughs> problems besides cheating. Like, yeah. And I feel like they always just try to put that shit on us. Yes. Because I'm like, for sure. people go their whole marriages without ever having any infidelity, but there's financial issues, mm -hmm. there's emotional issues, there's issues yes. with the children. I'm like... Cheating is not so always the problem. issue. You got so much to pick from. You got so much yeah, to pick from. We got so many problems. Right. Yes. And people just be like, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. I'm like, pick something else. I'm glad that right. people a different struggle. Me too. Because yeah. cause it, it makes them more real to me. Mm -hmm. Like, And if anything, that made their relationship stronger. even stronger. Because like, you, we can grow closer now. Now you can talk now. to me. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. New yes. level of love. Yes. <laughs> So I, I, was I really feel like the marriage getting like stronger. Uh, uh. Okay, sorry. But speaking of, I was doing like a little anime situation. I knew it, Michael B. Jordan, you freaking nerd. You said like incorporating the anime? I knew it. I'm so proud of him. The fight scenes, I was like, we're watching the anime when, right now. When you, when you saw him put him up against the uh, the jail. Uh, Bro. That was so, and, that was anime. And when they, had that, when they had that silence, well, it wasn't silent, but like you could see like the crowd is mm -hmm. and they was like in that uh -huh. little smoky ring and they yeah. were just the silent. I was I'm like, this so, is an anime right now, I Michael. I the anime reference. He talked about. But it's, with, as far um, as not necessarily like a specific show. Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the, who's the director person that he always with? Run. Coogler. Coogler. Oh. Keegler. It's Google. It's cool. Okay. Well, he um, I think he had talked to him about always wanting to like incorporate like the yes. anime stuff in me. And I'm so and excited. And so for him to that. have that opportunity to do that because of his love for anime, and, I'm so excited. and I just I don't know. I just like him as a person too because mm -hmm. like because because we we talk about like the corny conversation of like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, Michael be doing whatever because he's not just you know doing all this yeah. and that or whatever. And the, like he like he be saying that like he like anime and yeah. stuff like that. So and what I, I think know. he from what Jersey, so probably being like a Jersey yeah. nigga in the hood, they were probably like mm, this cornball ass dude. <laughs> Did y'all hear about that though? The the interviewer yes. that he went to high school with. Yeah, yeah my friend yeah. talked about the uh, this past weekend and. At first, I was just like, he didn't have to go there. You know, he really could have just not acknowledged her. But she, she, she started. She, she brought, she brought it, it up. up that. And she plus, said, she was a way she back. was a bad interview in the in back. the first place. So he was like, since you brought it up, girl, I'm finna mm -hmm. just. He still gave her her mama or whatever, but yeah. he was just kind of like, I don't know. Well, since I, we're I here, know. um, the one scene that really stuck out to me mm -hmm. when uh. When Dame was fighting Felix, the Hispanic dude, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after he won or whatever, he was looking across the ring for like oh, confirmation from yeah. Adonis, like, like be happy for did, me. Right. But like he had, you could see his eyes go from like sadness, like damn, why you not holding, like why you not here with me? But then like anger, but then like okay, cool, yeah, I'm gonna hold on. Wow. You can you see, see, you can you see, can see that, that as the transition. You can see it like in his head, be like, bet, okay. Cause you were supposed to, yeah. Yeah, cause it, cause I think when he came up out of jail, and out of prison, excuse me, whew, huge difference. When he came up out of prison, <laughs> and he was like, you know, I want to get back to where I left off. Basically, you know, I'm gonna box. I'm gonna get back in there, or whatever. I don't think he came in it with an intention to come for yeah. Adonis's spot. Mm -hmm. But he was like, well, now you want to deny me? Now you want to do all this? He was like. I already know I'm a better boxer than you. I'm finna take this stuff. I agree with that. That's not, that one. shift in his so face. So when he was oh, fighting yeah. him and he was like, oh, yeah. you're supposed to be my dog. I thought yeah. we was no, here no. with it. Yeah. But then also him, him not getting them letters. He probably already felt that little bit of resentment. But he was like, I was finna let that slide. But now, 
Mm -hmm. I'm finna turn up on you. Oh, I'm gonna turn up now. Cause he right. looks so hurt in that ring. Yeah. Like, I was upset too. I was like, this your boy. But I now I get Felix's under you, but low key, uh, but he, he fought too. dirty. He was not supposed he, to be yeah, hitting him in the shoulder like that. And, and, and like this nigga laid out. Like we don't know if he's gonna be right, <laughs> right. right yet. He kept yeah. hitting him in his shoulder. And first of all, Felix. Yo mama shouldn't have never let you go back in that ring because he was not ready to fight because his shoulder still was not healed yet. And mm -hmm. she let him go in there and get punched in that shoulder. Yeah. Anyway. She gotta work and on she her had the nerve to be mad. <laughs> and she ain't said, none what? of them. She gotta work on her motherhood. <laughs> right. I was like, forget the bag. Your son could lose his ability to fight forever. None of them matches oh, yeah. was fair because that <laughs> nigga was big. Okay, but this. Yes. You what, big you man? I said, <laughs> dang it. I'm like, who's dead in the streets? I said, <laughs> Bro, no, when Jonathan Bye. Majors hit this, I said, he been watching World Star, bro. Get off World Star. He said, I said, oh, this is a Negro fight now. He's not fighting like a boxer. But I love it. I know, right? Now, and on a on a petty note, on a fast note, yeah. just watching two fine niggas go at it, that was great. I just enjoyed it so much. Look, 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 I had to get it out of my system. We've been talking about plot and all this. I don't got to have to get it out. I ain't said much about the story. But... <laughs> Yeah. It was a couple moments in there where I was like, golly, I just, <laughs> boy, I tell ya. <laughs> boy, I tell ya, this is, this is worth the trip, worth it. <laughs> I said, boy, and Zach, bro, because I was sitting next to our cousin Zach. So when we was doing all this hooping and hollering, he said, I can't take y'all niggas nowhere. Because <laughs> we was like, oh, oh. Because, like, the first scene with, like, Jonathan Major, like, working out or having no shirt on, everybody's like, ooh. <laughs> he said, oh. He's like, this going to be a long movie, bro. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. No, nah, but he was dying laughing. No, nah, what really had me and Zach dying, bro? Oh, my gosh. So there was a family in front of us, right? And one of the girls. The girls crawled on the floor. Baby, what? I tell you, she was in tears. Bro. Was she, on the floor? she was crawling. She on was the trying floor. to like go to somebody like down the line, but she did it so them? dramatic. She could have just crouched down. And she's gonna get on her knees and crawl like a dad gum dog or whatever. Yeah, she did. And we was like, <laughs> I had to turn around because I had tears coming out my eyes. That was too funny. I thought you were laughing at the show. <laughs> No, we was looking at that girl calling for her. Because at first we was like, did like a double take. Like, I know y'all see this girl on this damn movie theater floor. Nasty ass. Down on the floor. Mm -hmm. She was <laughs> like a pimp. You know. I, I, girl. It was so many unintentionally funny moments in that movie. That was a good little vibe. A whole bunch of niggas in that movie. Dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very a couple of them knockout faces was hilarious. I was, I was like, see it. Durr. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the like the the, the visuals of the actual bro. The actual fight scenes. The fight scenes. You were like, like they said they used them IMAX cameras or something yeah. that made it like, like more. Because I felt like I was there. It made you flinch. You like, I can't yeah. look at this no more. And then like them loud ass punches. Mm -hmm. I was like, cause they am a big boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there ain't no way they should have been in the ring together. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody said. As soon as he got in there, I was like, y'all sure they in the same way? <laughs> That nigga be. I was like, shit. I thought Felix was. Oh, and then I saw that. I was like, oh, he finna beat the brakes off this dude. Wow. Like, it's not. Mm -mm. But apparently, like the weight class is like a pretty decent weight range in between the weight classes. So you could be like one seventy something. And he like two thirty. Like I'm not swinging on him. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like just just bob and weave and hope he get tired. But yeah, that was really the fight scenes. Ten out of ten, Michael, you did that. And when he, I don't remember which fight it was. I think it was yeah, I think it was Adonis and and Dame fighting. When he hit that camera, and the camera went up like oh, this, like the yes. knockout. I said, oh, now shit. they did they did a great job. That camera said, Whoop. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, you could hear a couple of uh, well, the audience go like, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. yeah. It's a great audience experience. Go yeah, like on real. a full night on a busy night because it's hilarious yeah. to no, just hear everybody reaction. Like, yeah, damn, oh, because yeah. because <laughs> when he won his last that last fight when he beat Dame or whatever, yeah. everybody was like, yeah, Cheers. like cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, because okay, Brody yeah. took us on a ride. They really did, and you can see uh, some of like. You know the director moments or whatever, like mm -hmm. when they was walking and then they kind of like. Oh, when they looked at each other. I was like, okay, to eat. My soundtrack is really good. Oh, when J Cole was rapping during Ooh. that training montage. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah. okay, J Cole. It was building up. I said, oh, this could be good. Nah, they did good. They did really good. Yes, man, they did so good. 
Thing. One more thing, one more thing I want to touch on, then we can, whatever. But uh, when they were, after Damien's win against Felix, uh -huh. and then he was out there at that little nigga cookout in the middle him. of nowhere, and Adonis pulls up to be like, yo, what was that? And the old dude pulled a gun out on him. This was a great example. The juxtaposition, y'all. Oh, come on, jux. Come on, I'm finna jux. <laughs> so, the juxtaposition between Adonis and Damien. Adonis has actual support, actual, mm -hmm. you know, built up a team. He was an overnight success and got all these fake pony people around him mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And then you see, after he loses, Adonis still has everything on his side. And then Damien is alone. Because I'm like, then people was just there oh, for the hot time, yeah, for the good time. Because right. you mm -hmm. won that fight. That's a good one. And then you just, oh, you missed the hot stuff. And everybody drinking and eating on your dime because you just won. Period, period. And then the second you lose, where they You're yet? by yourself. Mm -hmm. Gone. You're by yourself. And he still got his wife, his kids, his business, his whatever. Mm -hmm. And then uh, old Duke was still on his side. That freaking. Dookie. He said, "Don't get quiet now, Dookie." Bro, <laughs> uh, that's so good. Too funny, man. He was really funny. Was, even though he was the anti-hero, he villain, does he was such funny. a good job at making you like him when you're not supposed to. He's a really good villain. He's I like. A, have y'all seen Ant Man? I saw him. Well, he's a villain in mm -hmm. that. Killed it. Okay, Killed I'll watch it again. He's, he's the reviews. only reason I like the movie. Okay, great. I think I heard mixed reviews, so I didn't know if I wanted to watch it. Dookie. No, no uh, Dirk made it. He no, plays okay. Kang. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I, when I went to go see uh, Ant Man, he was in every freaking uh, previews. Jonathan Major. He's gonna have a hell of a movie. Did y'all see he's gonna be playing Dennis Rodman? What? Mm -hmm. oh, I saw something like that. Unless I was dreaming. What movie is it? It's gonna be about just Dennis. Or it's gonna be about. I the, have no the, idea. I just kind of like scrolled past it, you know. But Dennis Rodman is an think, interesting character, and, I, and that's he, a good person. He's I'll gonna eat so that shit up. I think so. Oh too. yeah, and then he's gonna be in another movie called The Understudy. I forgot what's about, but I believe it's a Spike Lee film. That's oh. finna eat. Yeah, Jonathan Majors and Spike Lee. He's in his freaking bag. He and got two. He got two number. Ones under his belt in one year in 2023 right now the year just started Jonathan yeah. and it's just March right it's Jonathan March. Gonna eat good <laughs> he said he said put bacon on my burger honey I'm finna period put, I don't no, care I'm, if guac is extra I got the extra two dollars yeah period yeah you didn't add no inflation two dollars <laughs> right yeah mm -hmm. and it'd be a Ooh. half ounce of avocado like, well, I do the is there something y'all would have wanted to see more from the movie Cause I, I I I had something. Tell me what you oh, wanted to see. What's your sense? What what's my secret? Well, I just really like Adonis <laughs> and Bianca's story, and I just felt like you know, even though I saw like the fight and all that stuff, I wanted to see them like more mm. because mm. I love love, yeah. and I know that it was about oh, Adonis and Dave. Yeah, but I just oh, uh, but because I love. I love their <laughs> characters, but I also just love Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson together. Okay. And I, and then when I see them, I Aesthetically get Aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just love them together. Yeah. I feel it. So, yeah, I just would want to see more of them just being happy, you know? I liked it. Mm. Yeah. But I guess I did They could do them, a mini series. Know? A little aftermath. Just for me. <laughs> right. Like, y'all just do episodes just for the people that like us. Did y'all FaceTime me? Cute with the little <laughs> Not y'all FaceTime me. Did y'all know they actually went to counseling? Yes, as they as actually as went to marriage counseling to prepare for the movie. As their characters. They went to counseling what as their the characters. Heck? They went to marriage counseling. But you know what I will say about all three of them mm -hmm. are super strong act mm -hmm. actors. Mm -hmm. like they, they hold it. They like that's how I knew like going into whatever I was like damn they fuck they finna eat this shit up mm -hmm. cause they but they all take it so seriously oh yeah and they didn't just like you could tell they really like got into their role like I'm gonna become Adonis like I'm not Michael right now I'm gonna become like but and they all have that mindset and so they're able to support one another mm -hmm. yeah and then you know sometimes in acting people get lost like they'll get lost in one dynamic like you can tell. That they practice the dynamic between Dame and Adonis, they, uh, you know, the daughter and everybody, and even in just a little bit of scenes that we've seen with uh, Dame and Bianca, yeah. like it the felt, I, it felt honest. Like this is my homegirl from back in the homeboy from back in the day. This is his wife, and I'm just, you know, chopping it I'm chopping it up, but I'm kind of like nervous. Cause I don't really know her like that, but I don't know what to tell her. Yeah, but like, it never seemed flirty to me. No, it oh, no, never. No, no. And I was glad that they didn't try to go that, that route. Did. Cause I was bracing myself for it. I said, if they do this, I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah. Cause at first when he but was he like, was planting seeds 
you know, to start issues in their marriage. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't trying to, like... Move in on her. Yeah, and I was glad, like, they were able to do a different route. Because when you said, home. I'm coming for everything, I said, don't start them, you. Yeah, what, what that you mean? mean by everything? What that mean? <laughs> you can't have a daughter, so what you mean? Yeah. Like, that's not your child. Uh, but I'm going to say something I'm glad that I didn't see. And it was at the very end. I'm glad that we didn't get no corny rekindling of the friends. It was very realistic. Very realistic. Because I feel like after you've been through all of that and all of that from the past and from the present, it'd be very hard to just jump back into it and just be friends like that. Like, he was just like, hey, I'm here if you need me. It was, and just left it at that. It wasn't like, I love you, brother. Let me be a friend. Because it's like, hey, bro, you still did what you did. So I can't. <laughs> I can't just have you around like that, like that, but we can, if you want to do some work, then let me know. I feel like you really got to feel the relief of, like, Adonis, because I mm-hmm. feel like he was holding on to that shit, because they both so had that relief. Yeah. Yes. Because he was like, it was none but of But I fault. felt that. I felt that shit come off my chest, too. Mm-hmm. And then they came, like, they came to that conclusion together, like, bro, we was just kids. We just, we just didn't know what we was doing. Like, shit got away from us, and we wasn't prepared, and life goes on. Yeah, I, I'm glad they have a they had a realistic ending. So Michael, great job, great job bro! You directed the hell out of it. You get Mr. Jordan, for me. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> <laughs> call me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's two of them, <laughs> right? They you both just said Michael. Don't worry about what I did. I meant this. I meant his skill. Girl, or whatever. Too, but watch out. All right. I like all the skills. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, <laughs> girl, hush, cause you was <laughs> sound like somebody auntie in the damn book. Yeah, sound like we was like, Tyler All my laughs came from living <laughs> sorry. Every time they came on the screen, short shirtless, she's screaming, <laughs> 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 clapping, with all the growling and all the <laughs> when they were talking. Yeah, the primal noises. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh my girl. god, love me a good primal. So, how would you rank the Creed movies? I can't watch the second one, so I can't say. You didn't watch the second one? Um, Everybody, don't look at the crazy. I ain't gonna look at that. That's tough. That's tough. I'll give it time, but I'll, I'll go in order. It's just one, two, three for me. Really? For right now, yeah. Yeah. I like the way the second one evolved into him having his own family, and he still, you know, he was still on the Rocky. I like to see, I like to see his story evolved in that second one. So that's why I, I missed it. Rocky too. But the third one, um, mm-hmm. I'm only putting it in its last place because it's still fresh. Oh, okay. I feel yeah, it's like fresh. Okay. But it's very good. Super good. If right. I could put a one and then a two A to B, it would be like that. <laughs> two, two A to, a to B. B. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm two, three, one. Same. Oh. Mm-hmm. Same. I gotta watch the second one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the second one because you know, more love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not more love. More love. That's probably going to be in my last because I don't care for love stories like that. So, not on film. I like them in like a short spurt, like a TV show. But nah, but he ate that shit up though. Oh yeah, feasted. They, no crumbs. They, oh, just that napkins so and good. bones. That was good. <laughs> napkins and bones in mm-hmm. an empty cup. Oh, look, 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 look. <laughs> he had dessert too. He super ate. Don't touch my leg. That's what? for Jonathan. Here's the. Not- well guys thanks for tuning in to a bonus episode and a recap review of creed 3 if you haven't already go check it out yeah and check it out if you're not willing to go out into the theaters once it starts streaming get it don't read it back buy it that oh because you're gonna want to watch it again yes okay. 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 i want to give it um uh, i want to give it in a, a, a live color a uh, two snaps and around the world <laughs> formation yes let's put black women on film mm-hmm. honey black women Oh, oh, hey, baby. Oh, listen. <laughs> they was right, filming guys. the hell out of them black memes. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>